Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Premier League Predictions Week 2. Obviously a lot to get through so let's get straight down to this video so guys you know what to do give us a like, big rock thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more, thanks for watching and let's go. So the first game I'm going to try and predict is Liverpool versus Burnley. Liverpool are, you know, a team that beat Norwich 3-0. Burnley lost 2-1 to Brighton after going one goal up. This game could really be a, you know, and a bit of an upset. But I'm not going to predict that. I'm going to predict a Liverpool win. And I'm going to predict a 3-0 Liverpool win. So the next one is Aston Villa versus Newcastle. Aston Villa... I can't quite remember how they got on, um, if I'm being honest. Newcastle just signed Joe Willock from Arsenal. Eligible to start in this game. He was not eligible to start in the last game. So, you know, it's a bit of a restart in this game. I think he should. I think he might as well. But going up against a really okay Aston Villa side, as I said, I can't remember how I got on last week. And if you are new to the channel, sort of get used to that. But, um, so, where I'm going to go with this one, I think I predict a Villa win, and I think I predict a 2-1 Villa win. My next one is Crystal Palace versus Brentford. Crystal Palace lost in week one at Stamford Bridge to, uh, to Chelsea 3-0. Brentford had a brilliant result at their new home, with their f uh, fans first attending their new home. In you know over I can't quite I think it might be eighteen months. Um, I don't think I made the green list uh, last season when we were potentially starting their fans back into the stadium. So you know, great result against Arsenal and a great picture on social media with the uh, top uh, sorry the Brentford manager and that uh, fan. And fair play to Brentford because if you saw the clip on, that's going around on social media, that the fact of, you know, some of the players went up to this certain fan and gave them half um high five and all that kind of stuff. So fair play to Brentford for doing that. Uh, as a lot of you have already said on social media, first game of the season we've all had we've already had picture of the season. So, you know, fair play for Brentford for doing that. You know, going into the game itself, Brentford being away, Selhurst Park, first time Crystal Palace fans will be allowed to attend the game. I can't quite yet remember if I made the green list all that time ago. But I'm going to predict a draw, and I'm going to predict a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Leeds United versus Everton. I can't quite remember how Leeds got on. I think, oh yeah, man. Sorry, they lost 5-1, I just remembered, to Man United. I did see a brief spell in that with Leeds United that maybe they could have came back into it. But they didn't. Um, very much one-sided, you know, after Leeds got that first goal. I think it was about three goals in ten minutes at Old Trafford um, that game. But going up against a really OK Everton side, I grabbed it... A 2-0 Everton win. My next one is Manchester City versus Norwich. Norwich have really had a tough start. They played Liverpool last week. They played Man City this week. Manchester City on the other hand. I think they won the previous week. I'm guessing by the way. Um, but you know it's really is going to be a... Uh, Really good game between these two clubs. But I think Man City will edge it, and I mean ever so, edge it by a big margin. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm only going to put Man City 3 0 win. I don't think they're quite up to full speed yet, but I could be wrong. My next one is Brighton versus Watford. I will be attending this game, which means there will be a match vlog uploaded sometime on my channel. The best way to keep up to date is by hitting that subscribe button. And turning the notification bell on. But anyway, over to the two clubs. So Watford, you know, if you remember a couple of years ago, they were my dark horses. They were a team that I possibly did think that nobody could touch. 
but it didn't turn out to be. I got relegated, I think it's a year later. Brighton, on the other hand, coming back from Burnley by and winning that game by two goals to one. You know, it really was a uh, good, good, good game for Brighton and a good result for Brighton all round. If you're a Brighton fan, obviously not if you're a Burnley fan, but it's going to be a really interesting game for this one. Um, at the MX Stadium, back to, I don't know what the capacity is due to be at this present in time, but, you know, around about 20 or 1,000, I'm guessing, I can't really see it being a sellout. No disrespect to Brighton whatsoever, but uh, there's still a lot of fear going around, and you possibly know this anyway. But. So I'm looking around about 20 or 1,000. Watford, I'll go for Brighton 2-1 win for that one. My next one is Southampton versus Manchester United. Manchester United obviously beating Leeds 5-1. Once they got that first goal, I was really thinking about, you know, okay, maybe Leeds will find their way back into that game. Not to be, though, Man United took it by storm. I think it was about three goals in ten minutes in that game. If I'm correct, but I could be wrong again now. It's going to be a really interesting game seeing uh, Man United back down at St Mary's. A big game for Southampton as well, obviously with their own fans back. But I'm going to call this one a draw, actually. And I'm going to predict a 2-2 scoreline for that one. My next one is Wolverhampton versus Spurs. Now, this game for Wolverhampton is big on the fact of, you know, it's the first time Wolves fans have been allowed inside of Molyneux for over 18 months. When we started this coming out, um, you know, fans being allowed back in stadiums, Wolverhampton did not make that list. Uh, so, you know, it's the first time their fans got to be allowed back in Molyneux for over 18 months. Big occasion for Wolverhampton. Spurs, on the other hand, beating Man City. I've just literally remembered that result. Uh, Spurs beating Man City 1 0 at home. And all the speculation still remains over Harry Kane. But, you know, fair play for um, Spurs winning that Man City, uh, Man City game 1 0. Uh, you know, I did watch it. It did look pretty. Um, even I must admit I know maybe Man City dominated the first couple you know 25 minutes but I just thought it's really average short game not a game I was expecting but it's opening game of the season for both clubs but back to Wolverhampton quickly and back to one year you know I'm looking forward to actually you know seeing Wolves fans back I'm, I'm interested in all fans back if I'm being honest going to the game itself I'm going to go for a one all scoreline for that one my next one is Arsenal versus Chelsea. Arsenal, what were you playing at get at Brentford? I know I do have some Arsenal fans on my uh, channel. I do like having a bit of banter with you, same as I did uh, when I predicted the Brentford result. I did predict Brentford to win, by the way. And you can check out some of the banter over on my uh, week one video. It, you know... But I still couldn't believe my eyes what I was seeing with Arsenal, um, if I'm being honest with that game. Arsenal, to me, need to step up a big time. Don't forget, after this, Arsenal do play Manchester City, and I'm guessing away from home at this present time, but I do know they play Manchester City, and I think they got Norwich after the international break. The first international break is coming up, and just that, you know, I will be dipped. I will be going to the England and all game, which brings another vlog for you guys as well. But going forward to this game in particular, I am so looking forward to watching this game between Arsenal and Chelsea. I can only predict it one way. Yet again, feel free to send me banter again. Um, but, you know, I took so much banter from the uh, Arsenal, uh, Ars Brentford Arsenal prediction, but Brentford still came out on top, a fair play to Brentford. I'm going to predict Chelsea win 
And I'm going to predict a 3 0 Chelsea win, especially if Arsenal play anyway like they did at Brentford. My last one for this weekend is West Ham versus Leicester City. West Ham, to me, you know, back at London Stadium, fair play for, uh, you know, obviously I've got to go back home, but I'm looking to do it again, seeing for the same fans there. So going up against an OK Leicester City side, I'm going to predict a 1 1 scoreline for that one. But anyway, guys, I'm going to bring this video to an end. So, guys, you know what to do. Give us a big crock on that you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.